So uh, tell us a little bit of this tram ride with Voldemort here. Well, as you can see, he's pretty ugly. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. But there is no real I, I think him. he looks great. Uh, I think there's something when you go through trauma in life. Um, it can sometimes feel like, even though you look like you're smiling on the surface, somewhere in the back of your mind, you still the, the fear follows you wherever you go, and that is what I basically try to interpret with this uh, piece and this song. And it's written from an improvisation, actually, by me just sitting and improvising and putting on a memo, voice memo. Uh, so it was very much, uh, that's how I, you as a musician and everything, like, allow yourself to be in contact with your subconscious, I think. So I think uh, when I wrote it, I wasn't conscious about it being like a trauma sort of... Um, rehabilitation <laughs> process uh, and I think I've been afraid a lot about running in into my past and hiding the dirt <laughs> uh, I've been hiding the dirt for many years from my past and now it feels like I'm coming out with the dirt I'm fine with the dirt how is, dirt it, to, is, life. How is it to film on uh, number five in the tram of Gothenburg Actually, this tram used to say Torp on it. Uh, that's why I made it on the top album cover. Uh, now it's going to Östrakjukhuset, where we started this filming. And um, it feels... Uh, this line is one of the most... Uh, I feel very much at home on, on tram number five. It's like I feel at home on tram number nine or four that goes to Angerian because I was brought up there. So it's like something with the environment and everything around you. When can we hear it? Uh, 11th of 11th. 11. So November 11th. Yes. Don't miss this. 11th of November. Yeah. <laughs>